What's up folks, Dave Mate over here in Curitiba, Brazil. I uh, just finished the conference, the uh, Herba Mate uh, Vincium 21 Third Seminario Conference in uh, Curitiba. Then I went up a little north to Santa Catarina and Paraná, the upper parts of Paraná, uh, most specifically to Yacui uh, Farm in uh, San Machado. No, I'm sorry, Cruz Machado, Cruz Machado, where uh, Yakui is the largest uh, herba mate producer in that entire city, uh, amongst several other growers in that region. Now, keep in mind, there's over just over 500 uh, herba mate producers in Brazil, and only five or six of them grow their own herba. Keep that in mind. Only five or six actually grow their own herba. The rest of them just produce maybe small tiny amounts if any mostly none of them produced on their own and they just buy they rely on buying mate from other farms and bagging it and making it their own brand which is fine same thing happens in the tea business uh same thing happens everywhere but just know that there's only about five or six actual growers of their own herba matcha in brazil so here we are back in curitiba let's take a look at this beautiful city this is my second time here. Some of you will remember I was here in, uh, I believe 2020, yeah, 2020. Last time I was here, it was 2020, I believe. And the funny thing is we are actually in the same Airbnb I was in four years ago. And that was totally done by accident. Didn't even know we were booking the same exact one. So go back to my videos and you'll see well, four years ago I was in Curitiba and you'll probably see similar views. I was on that side of the building last time though where you can see the mountains back there. Gorgeous. Curitiba, Brazil, October 2020. This is uh, springtime here. I wish I had this camera when I was at the farm the other day but unfortunately my luggage was lost for the past four days and i just got it back yesterday uh but you'll be seeing a tons of videos i filmed tons of videos on my phone my iphone uh, 15 pro so the videos are pretty good but they're going to be shaky so just bear with me when you see those videos on youtube and uh on facebook and instagram follow us on, on all those channels uh but here i'm so happy i got my gopro i just got this gopro for this trip and i'm loving it wow i should have been shooting with a gopro all these years I remember people used to be like, Dave, why are your videos so shaky years ago? They were shaky because I didn't have any stabilization. But as you see with this GoPro, beautiful stabilization. So I'm living in a kind of nice little area here in Kudachiba. Kind of like a little affluent building, I guess you could say. And we are preparing to go to the market. Maybe I'll show you a little bit of the market. There's like a food market I remember going to four years ago. I want to go back, get some food. Only have a couple more days here left in Brazil. Uh, it was super intense, super intense experience. Uh, one day I'll tell you the full story of what happened before the uh, the presentation. But let's just say that I was like super sick. I was, uh, I don't know if I ate something or what. I wasn't feeling well like two hours before the presentation. I was throwing up. Ate something bad the day before and i pulled a muscle in my back i almost couldn't get on stage but thank god everything worked out i was able to revive myself and uh i gave the presentation i think i was the first north american yeah actually i was if i'm totally honest i was the first north american ever to be invited to one of these conferences to, to represent united states of america Irva mate market so it was a landmark moment uh i was it was i was invited by embrapa embrapa was started in the early 1970s in brazil uh, scientists were sent all over the world to study uh, various uh, disciplines such as agriculture, technology, uh, different disciplines to support the growth of agriculture in Brazil. Most of those scientists, about 95% of them came back to Brazil and that formed Embrapa. Embrapa is sort of a research community uh, owned by the government of Brazil, backed by the government, funded by the government. and they have a deep interest in yerba mate economics growth marketing etc 
Uh, believe it or not, not everyone in Brazil drinks herba mate. Only a small percentage of the population drinks it. Mostly in the southern uh, states, the three most southern states of Brazil, Paraná, Santa Catarina, Rio Grande do Sul. That's where you'll find the mate. But even here in Curitiba, in the city of Curitiba, not like where we were in the farms yesterday, you'll see those videos on uh, coming up. You probably already saw some of them. Most people here really don't drink herba, believe it or not. Some people do, but this is not a heavy, heavy herba. This particular part of, uh, of Curitiba, this major city of it, it's not really heavy with herba. You have to go on the outer, the outer areas where we were in the farms. All right, guys, Dave Mate, just giving you a little update on this trip. Been in Brazil for about a week now. Happy to be here. I'm very relieved now that I could actually spend the next three, three days just relaxing. It was super intense being at the farms, albeit super fun and amazing. Uh, but it was just nonstop, 24-7, moving around for the first week. I didn't get a chance just to relax, just to chill. So hopefully these next three days I could just chill, relax, and absorb, really, because I learned a lot about Herba. I got I to gotta share with you what I learned on this trip. I learned a ton about the analysis of Herba Mate, the uh, granulometry of Herba Mate, the density of Herba Mate. I'm talking about the technical details of the plant, the production of the plant, uh, the processing, the cutting of the plant. I got an entirely new understanding on this trip. I was talking to a lot of scientists, a lot of super smart people, people much smarter than myself. I was had the fortune to be around and they just really opened up to me. So thank you so much Embrapa. Thank you so much Brazil. Thank you so much this entire Herba Mate and Yerba Mate community for taking me in and uh, spending countless hours educating me, bringing me to a whole new level of understanding of Herba Mate. My level of understanding now is on a whole new level, I have to say. So now I'm reinvigorated to go even deeper, to go even further into your herba mate, to spread this herb even more. Thank you for Brazil for reminding me what I need to do with this most important job with the herba mate. And thank you to the spirit of herba mate for guiding me all these 15 years that has led me up to this point. All right, that's enough for now. Maybe I'll show you the market in a little bit. Ciao, ciao.